Hello, this is Ryan, the product review guru here again with product-review-guru.com and today we're going to look at how to install a WordPress theme from download to application. So I have a WordPress blog set up right here with the classic theme. This is what you'll see when you first install WordPress. So this is right after my WordPress installation the first thing we're going to want to do is apply what's called a theme. Now what a theme does is pretty much changes the layout and sometimes the functionality but the nice thing about themes is these posts like this post hello world here all of your content you put on your blog will mostly stay the same but the appearance will change so it's very very easy to change the look of your blog without retyping in posts and all of other things like that so the first thing we're going to want to do is download a theme. So I pulled up a website that just had some free WordPress themes. And the one I like we're going to do today, I'm just going to pick a nice and simple one. It's the first one right here. It's called Wooden. And then when you click the, the download, you're going to see the download application box appear and because we're going to be uploading this right away which I'll show you I'm just going to open this file I'm not going to save it you can also choose to save it somewhere but because we're uploading it right away I'm just going to keep it just like this so first thing we need to do is the file we downloaded was in what's called a zip archive now if you don't know what that means that's okay it's pretty much a briefcase that holds files so we need to get the files out of the briefcase and to do that a really simple thing to do is just click left click and hold and drag it onto your desktop so as you can see it appeared here and we're gonna go ahead and X this out because we don't need this zip archive anymore okay so here we have it right here now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is FTP into our web host. The information for your login information, if you log into your hosting account, it should be given to you, like FTP login information. It depends on your web host, they have it in different places, but you need to find that information to be able to log in. Once you have that information, you need to open up what's called an FTP program. The FTP program that I use, it's free, is called FileZilla. You could go to download.com and download FileZilla. I'll show you how to do that real quick. So we're going to want to go to download.com and you'll see the search box here. And we're going to go ahead and type in FileZilla and what you want is FileZilla right here. You can just click the download now button. And it'll download. The download box will appear. And what you do is you pretty much just click uh, save file. Or if you have Internet Explorer, you can just click run. But once you download that file, you just double click it and run through the prompts until it's installed. I already have it installed. So what I'm going to do is open up my FTP client, FileZilla and I'm going to connect to our blogs FTP and what you should see is your root or top level which is called slash and then the right side here is the web host your hosting account the left side is your actual PC and to get files onto your web server your web host you drag the files from left to the right. You can also drag files from your desktop, which I'll show you in a second. Now, where do we drag the theme to? Well, that decides where that depends on where WordPress has been installed. For my web host, HTTP docs holds all my website files. Yours may say public underscore HTML or something of the sort, or it may even be just in slash. But when you go into this directory, you'll see three directories where you know WordPress is installed. You'll see a wp-admin, wp-content, and wp-includes. I installed my WordPress blog on the top level, so you just go right to my website and my blog's pulled up. 
But when you find these three folders, you know that you found your WordPress installation. You get to select where you install WordPress, so hopefully you know where that is. To upload a theme, the theme we downloaded, what we need to go into is the WP-Content folder. So we're going to double click that. And then you'll see a folder called Themes. All we do is double click that. And you'll see we have two themes right now, Classic and Default. And I'm going to show you real quick the themes that we got installed here. So here's my WordPress blog. I'm going to go ahead and log in. To get to the screen, you just go to your wherever your WordPress is installed, slash WP admin, as you can see. And this is WordPress 7.2.1, or 2.7.1, which is the most recent version as of right now. And this may be collapsed when you first get there, but the themes, you can click the arrow, or if you just click appearance, it'll go right to your themes. So you can click here, or if you just want to go right to it, you just left click appearance. And as we can see, we have available themes. Remember we saw classic and default? Well, there's our two themes right there. There's only two. Okay, so as we go back in here, we see our two themes, classic and default. Now, I'm going to resize this window so I can show you. We can drag right from our desktop into this client, which is very nice. So remember, we want to drive to drag it to the right side, which is our web host, into this themes folder. That's where we're dragging it into. So I left click the wooden directory, the wooden theme, drag the folder all the way over to here, and then I'm clicking and holding, and once I let go, it'll start the transfer. So I let go, you'll see it down here, uploading all the files, 16 files. And then once you see directory listing successful, you know that's installed, and you should see the wooden directory in here now. So now we have three themes. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is refresh this page so it reloads the themes we have. There it is. There's the wooden theme. And because we downloaded a pre-made theme, it has all the settings to make it appear in the screenshot and things like that. If we want to apply the theme, it's pretty easy. Current theme is WordPress default. We just left-click the theme we want, which is wooden. It'll say, hey, this is what it's going to look like. We just click activate in the top right. Left-click that. And then you'll see the current theme is right there. So we'll go back to our blog. This is the classic theme, but it's updated because we applied the new theme. We just click refresh. And there you have it. You have just skinned or applied a theme to your WordPress blog. This is Ryan, the product review guru. Please visit product-review-guru.com for more great tutorials and reviews. Create a great day.